And now data shows gun violence has claimed more than 15,000 lives so far this year in the U.S. Tonight, a Rachel Krause sits down with an expert who has spent years studying gun culture and explains tonight why stopping gun violence and deaths won't be easy. So even if you were to stop the import, sale, and manufacture of all firearms starting tomorrow, there would still be more guns than people in the United States. In a nation where nearly one in five adults has had a family member killed by a gun, including homicide and suicide, the high rate of gun violence often clashes with our constitutional right to bear arms. Guns have been part of American culture from colonial times, and so there have always been firearms. Um, a lot of uh, scholars would also point out that there's always been firearms regulation. So gun ownership and gun regulation has gone hand in hand from colonial times really until today. Pierre Atlas, a senior lecturer at the O'Neill School at IUPUI, says many Americans view guns not just as a tool, but as a symbol of freedom and liberty. Atlas says over the past 50 years, that perception has shifted somewhat. When the NRA began its push to expand gun rights, and now with permitless carry, like Indiana has implemented just in the past year. And in the decades since, guns have become highly politicized. Before Columbine in 1999, school shootings were very, very rare. After that, there's sort of a copycat type thing that's been going on. And of course, every time now there's a mass shooting, everybody takes their position. I mean, it's very predictable. Whichever side you're on, it, it's, it, it could be any mass shooting. It's going to be the same response from people on both sides of the issue rather than having a serious discussion of what can we do to reduce gun violence. And gun violence is a problem in the United States. In 2020, 45,000 people died from firearms, not just from mass shootings, but also domestic violence, homicide, suicide, and accidental shootings. Atlas, a gun owner himself, says those are numbers that can be reduced. Mental health issues are definitely there. Um, but that's not the only reason. I mean, it, it's when we see a lot of the gun deaths, it's the it's this nexus of mental health problems or mental health crisis and the easy access availability to firearms. And that's what puts America different from other countries. But to cut down on those numbers, he says both sides need to come to the table. You know, gun rights people say, okay, the guns are not going away. And for gun reform people, the guns are not going away. What can we do to you know, reduce gun violence? And I think that's where you could have a serious conversation if you didn't have um, interest groups and politicians on both sides benefiting from not having a conversation. Atlas says gun policies have always shifted along with the culture in America. And he says a culture shift from the latest generation may be what pushes our country to a change in gun policy in the decades to come. I think the new generation with uh, their kind of activism and the reality they've grown up with that older gun owners frankly didn't grow up with, with school shootings and things like that, I think that will down the line lead to some changes and including electoral changes in terms of who gets elected to office. Rachel Krause, 13 News.